Hi guys, my name is Athelia. As nighttime approaches, I want to show you guys the easiest and most foolproof way to catch a zombie villager. So this is my setup. It's basically a big U shape. It's five long, and then this way it's going to be five long as well. So it's basically a big square. Uh, and then it's also got this line down the middle, which is three long. So the idea is that you're going to go, um, after you hit a zombie villager, not with a sword, just, you know, pop them with something non-violent. Um, you're going to go through here, turn around, he's going to follow you in, and then you're going to open the gate and go through, and it's effectively going to trap him inside there. Um, and then in case you have anything else roaming around, um, like other zombies or different mobs, um, you're going to want to remove the pressure plates just so that uh, no one lets them out or you don't accidentally like let them out yourself. Um, and then as well you're going to want to have half slabs on top to protect them from sunlight uh, in case you catch them around the end of the night just so that uh, he doesn't burn up and you don't lose all your hard work. So I'm going to go and try and catch a zombie villager. I'll be right back. Alright so I can't find a zombie villager but you know what I can show you just with a regular zombie. So, let's take this guy here. So we're gonna pop him, and then we are gonna come around this side here. Oh my god! He's gonna follow us, we're gonna go out, and he is now trapped. So, um, now that being said, oh my goodness, I should not have put this on hard mode. Okay, so we're gonna take these out, um, and now he is trapped. So if he was a zombie villager, we could take our potion of weakness, we could pop him with a potion of weakness, and then we could pop him with a golden apple. But since he's not, we can just punch him. Um, okay, so you know what? I'm going to wait until daytime because it'll be a little bit calmer to show you, but I'm going to build one of these in front of you just to show you how it's done. So I'll be right back. Hi guys, uh, I am back right now. So. Here we go, this is how we're going to start. So we have these, these are going to be 5 long by 5 wide, and then on the inside, again, we have our wall which is 3 long. These are all going to be 3 high, just because when we put in the half slabs, we want to have enough headspace. So again, we're putting in the half slabs to protect the zombie villager from any sunlight or any kind of sun damage they're going to get. Um, and so from there, what we want to do is we want to put our two fence gates kind of inside the first block there and then put a pressure plate in front of each one. Um, so again the game mechanic is just going to be that uh, once you hit the zombie villager it's going to want to follow you and <laughs> kill you I guess. Um, so when you go in and just wait for a moment it'll follow you. If you go too quickly to the other side it's going to try and follow you through this side and you're going to run into it. Um, so just wait for a second, it'll follow you, and then just open the gate and go out, it'll close automatically. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Uh, my name is Athelia, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye!